In this video, I'm going to answer a question I got from Ricardo Dillon on eating fish in mercury levels. Now, Ricardo is referring to a sample diet uh, that I have in uh, one of my articles showing you guys how to use Shred Gym properly. But in any of my uh, sample diets, it's just samples. Look, Whatever food uh, that I put in a meal for lunch or dinner does not mean that that's the food that you should be eating every single day throughout the diet. It's just a uh, sample or example uh, food item. You want variety in everything you eat, in your fruits and vegetables, in your protein sources uh, as well. So don't eat uh, tuna every single day. Now there's another reason why you don't want to eat tuna, particularly albacore tuna every single day, and that's due to mercury levels. Now mercury is a poison, a toxin, that uh, gets into the water through uh, a few different ways. It can be through mining, it can be through factories, especially those that burn coal, even from volcanic activity. Well, that mercury gets into the water and those small krill uh, and other small animals consume the mercury. And then the bigger fish all the way up the food chain keep eating those fish. And what happens is the mercury levels uh, start adding up. So your bigger fish that live longer are going to have higher mercury levels because they're consuming uh, fish that have been consuming uh, fish that have been eating mercury all the way down uh, the food chain and living longer, meaning those levels just build up. So to make it easier to understand what fish uh, you should avoid due to mercury uh, contamination and what fish is uh, better to select, the FDA has put out a table on uh, seafood for women who are of childbearing age, who are uh, wanting to get pregnant, who are pregnant, uh, or who are nursing uh, and children. For the rest of us, pretty much you can use these guidelines, but if you go over a little bit, it's not uh, such a big deal. We've broken it up into three uh, categories. The first is excellent uh, selections. These are uh, seafood choices that you can have two to three times uh, per week. It includes fish like salmon and tuna, uh, light tuna or the skipjack. And then on the uh, good selection, which you want to limit to uh, once uh, a week, includes uh, tuna, which is albacore. And then the foods that you want to avoid is orange roughy, which is a big one among bodybuilders. So watch orange roughy if you're concerned about mercury, shark, uh, and tile fish, king mackerel, and swordfish. These tend to be the bigger fish that live the longest. Like I said, they have the highest uh, mercury levels. Now, when it comes to tuna, which is bodybuilders' uh, staple food, every bodybuilder eats tuna. In fact, I know several uh, bodybuilders who would eat uh, three to five cans a day, not uh, just a week. But for the average bodybuilder, uh, if you go, like I said, the albacore tends to have higher uh, mercury levels because the albacore is a bigger fish. So when you're buying tuna, if you look for the skipjack versus uh, the albacore, the skipjack, they're smaller fish. Uh, and so they have uh, lower mercury levels. Another option is to buy chunk light tuna. Now chunk light tuna typically is that skipjack and you can double check if you want to go on the ingredients list and you can see on this one here that uh, it's skip jack tuna but that chunk like tuna is basically another uh, term used uh, for skipjack like I said it's a smaller fish so you're better off uh, going with the skipjack if you're concerned about mercury levels as far as taste goes the albacore uh, tastes far better uh, at least in my opinion and especially if you go with uh, something like wild planet it's much richer in omega-3 fats so the, the choice is yours, but like I said, the FDA is telling you you can have about two to three. I'd say for most bodybuilders, even three to five if you're going to go with the skipjack or light tuna. And probably for bodybuilders, somewhere around two to three uh, of albacore. It's the same whether it's cans or uh, in the pack. Now, if you really love canned tuna just for the convenience, 
It's a great protein source, uh, but you're concerned about the, the mercury levels or you just don't like the skipjack uh, variety. You can also go for canned salmon or uh, salmon in a pouch. As well, you could do the same uh, recipe. In fact, I have a salmon recipe at jimstapani.com. It's just like tuna, just uh, with salmon. Uh, tends to be, depending on the source of the salmon, higher in those omega-3 fatty acids and much lower in mercury. And then other smaller fish like sardines also make a, a good choice. Like I said, the smaller fish don't tend to uh, have such high uh, mercury levels. Now the American uh, Fishery Institute uh, would have something to say about this. And they debate that all this caution over mercury in fish is really overplayed. In fact, uh, they claim that uh, there's data that shows that even pregnant women can have uh, somewhere over 50 ounces of albacore a day without worrying about the mercury levels. Now, whether uh, or not you want to believe in that, there's another issue when it comes to uh, mercury levels, and that's selenium. Now look, the real issue with mercury poisoning isn't just being overloaded with mercury, it's about the level of mercury to selenium. No one really uh, talks about this because no one really understands the science. So let me break it down for you and give you the real truth. Now if you eat a diet high in selenium, well, if you light a gym, you're covered. I have 200 micrograms of selenium in there. Perfect dose uh, for you to get. Another way to get selenium is uh, Brazil nuts. You can check out my uh, nut article at jimstapani.com, but Brazil nuts are a great source of selenium. Well, guess what another good source of selenium is? Fish. That's right. Most of the fish that everyone's so concerned about, even the albacore uh, tuna, Guess what? It's high in selenium as well as mercury, meaning, look, maybe the mercury uh, concern is a bit overplayed because, like I said, we're only looking at total mercury levels. We're not looking at mercury to selenium uh, levels. And these fish that have a uh, have better ratios of mercury to uh, selenium don't seem to be such a problem, as well as humans who consume enough selenium. And like I said, take your Vitagen because... It's really the only multivitamin out there that gives you 200 micrograms of selenium, which is not only important if you're eating fish to uh, fight uh, mercury contamination, but selenium is critical for muscle strength. So I hope that helped answer your question and not make it uh, more confusing uh, for you and anyone with the same uh, question about eating fish. Look guys, if you're following one of my diets, and especially if you're uh, using my, my Vitagen, you're covered uh, on selenium levels and therefore your mercury concerns uh, don't need to be so much. I typically uh, don't worry too much of my fish consumption uh, per week. I eat plenty of fish and don't have any issues with mercury contamination. But like I said, the choice is yours. You can follow that FDA guideline. Uh, Check it out uh, on their website uh, as well so you know which fish uh, you can consume two to three times per week, uh, once per week, or fish that you should try uh, to have very seldom or at least avoid. If you don't want to listen to any of it, you're not worried because you're eating plenty of selenium. Have at it. Eat as much uh, tuna or any other fish that you want. And if you have any other questions about a certain type of fish uh, that I haven't covered here, just ask, you guys know where to get me on social media or hit up the Gym Army Facebook page. As always, guys, stay Gym Army strong.